Mom! Eat your cookies. Mm hmm. Mommy's filming. Eat your cookies. So the title of this video is What's in My Gym Bag? Basically, I'm going to show you guys everything that I take with me to the gym. Um, the first item that we're going to talk about, I don't technically take with me to the gym, but I'll explain all of that. So I'm going to first start by showing you guys my actual gym bag. So this is my gym bag right here. It is a Adidas gym bag. It's pretty cool. I got it from Academy. No, I did not get this from Academy. I got this from Dick's Sporting Goods. I got this for like 40 bucks, I want to say. So it has a little mesh pocket over here. That's usually where I stick my phone while I'm training because I keep my gym bag with me on the floor while I train. Um, it has a little front pocket right here with a zipper. It's got a big pocket over here with a zipper. And then, of course, the main pocket. So let's get started by the little outside pocket. So like I already told you guys, I keep my phone over here or I'll like stuff a diaper in there or wipes because I have to take my son with me to the gym most of the time. This front pocket right here really has random stuff in it. I have a little headband right here that I'll keep if I need to tie my hair up. Don't y'all laugh at me. I have sunscreen. <laughs> Kid sunscreen, baby sunscreen, because sometimes I like to go work out at the park with my son. Uh, so I keep this with me, not only for him, but for myself, because I don't like to get sunburn on my face. Yes, black people do get sunburn. Balm in here, this is just a EOS lip balm. I believe this is the, the lavender, the lavender one. I cannot stand working out with my lips dry. I hate it. I cannot stand it. So I've I think I had like another one of these in here somewhere, but I always have lip balm with me. Having my lips dry is like the biggest pet peeve of mine. It is so uncomfortable. It's like an itch that you can't scratch. I cannot stand having my lips chapped. I have my headphones in here. Now these, I've lost these like so many times. I seriously thought I completely lost them the other day and they were somehow in the yeah. passenger door of my car. I don't know how they got there, but these are the Jaybird headphones. I cannot remember what the model is. I'll link it down below. But this is what they look like right here. They just go around your neck and these little weird like little wing thingies. Let me show you guys little weird wing thingies. They go inside of your ear and they keep them in place. So they're pretty cool. Uh, I bought these from Verizon for I want to say $150 somewhere around there. The only thing that I do not like about these headphones is the way that you have to charge it. This little black thing that's on there, it pops off and that is how you charge it. This is your charger and then it just has like a little micro USB that you plug in and that's how you have to charge your headphones. I'm not a huge fan because this thing is really, really easy to lose. I lost it for like two weeks. It was inside my wallet. But it's just, it's a little inconvenient for me personally. But they work. They do block out noise. They're loud enough. They're, they're decent headphones. I prefer these over the Beats. I had a pair of Beats and they were a piece of shit. I hated them. So I got these from Verizon. I have my Sweet Sweat Wrap. This is not a waist trainer. This is a workout enhancing wrap. So basically you wrap it on yourself and it helps you sweat. The brand Sweet Sweat, um, you can find them online they have a website i bought this on amazon but i do not believe that they have their products on amazon anymore i could be wrong if they do i'll link it down below but when i looked yesterday because i was going to order some stuff i did not see them on amazon but i could be wrong you never know so i use this basically every day that i'm not doing um like heavy lifting the days that i deadlift i don't use this because it gets in the way the days that I, basically just the days that I do legs, I don't like to use this just because I feel like it gets in my way. This is really good if you are looking to help tighten up your midsection. It doesn't necessarily tighten it up, but it helps the blood flow and it helps your pores open up and it helps you sweat more. And for me that I have stretch marks from when I had my son, it has helped my stretch marks kind of lighten up and shrink down. So if you are a, uh, you're going through postpartum and you just got your clear to exercise and you have stretch marks in your midsection, I really, 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 really recommend this for you. I have my weightlifting belt, 
My husband just got this for me for Christmas. It is the Gold's Gym brand. He got it from Walmart. It's nothing super fancy. It gets the job done. It's very, very sturdy. I have a hard time keeping my back straight whenever I squat and whenever I deadlift because I think it's just from me being a dancer for so long. Uh, I have that kind of natural sway back, so it's I'm used to it, or I'm used to tucking my hips under. I just I don't know. It's, I think I think it's a dancer habit. For, that's what I think personally because I have a really hard time keeping my back straight whenever I'm doing certain movement. So I whined and I whined that I needed a weightlifting belt, and I finally got one. So I have this in here. I'll link this down below. Also, like I said, I think he got it from Walmart. Have baby wipes. Now, not only do I have baby wipes for my babies, but because I have a two-year-old, I use these for my face. Now, there's probably going to be people that clock me and say, well, they're not really face wipes. Well, if they are gentle enough to use on my baby's butt, who has very sensitive skin because he is obviously, he's a baby, I can use it on my face. And they work for me. I'd rather use baby wipes than buy really expensive face wipes. Um... Sometimes I will take with me my micellar water, which I usually don't. It's just on the days that I get off of work, like on the weekends, and I go straight to the gym and I want to take off all my makeup. But usually I just keep these with me to keep my face clean because being in the gym and sweating and touching your face with all that dirt can cause breakouts. I actually have a little pimple that's trying to come to life down here, but we are, we're, we're taking care of that. We're not, we're not having any pimples. So these are just Pampers baby wipes. Let's talk about hygiene my hygiene section in my bag now I'm not going to show you guys because it's going to be like well no I'll try to show you it's kind of obnoxious but there is a little zipper pocket in the bag right here where I keep all of my hygiene stuff so in the zipper pocket I have double of like everything seriously mm -hmm. double of everything I have it okay here it is so this is my first deodorant. This is the La Vanilla. La Vanilla. It's 100% healthy, no harsh chemicals, no or an all natural ingredients deodorant. I got this from Sephora. I cannot remember how much it costs. I remember we sold it all the time whenever I worked at Sephora. It smells really freaking good. But, but, if you train a lot, if you sweat a lot, you have overactive sweat glands like myself, it's not gonna help with the BO. It is not. I like to use this like right after I get out of the gym just to kind of like get myself smelling a little bit fresh. But right before I work out, this is my guy. Now judge me if you want to, but the pH in my body changed after I had my son and I had a hard time finding deodorant that didn't make me smell like armpits. So this is the Old Spice Lasting Legend Men's Deodorant. This is what I use. Ladies, if you have a hard time finding deodorant, I really recommend this one. I describe the scent as kind of manly smelling, but kind of like a like a soft metro man smelling deodorant, if that kind of makes sense. It smells kind of fruity. It has a man smell, but it kind of smells feminine at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe it's for guys that don't like that real musky smell, but I, I think it smells good. So these are the deodorants that I keep in my bag. Other deodorants that I keep in my bag are the dry sprays. These are also both men dry sprays because I have very... Give me that. No, give me that. Um, these are dry sprays. These are men dry sprays. One of them is the Degree Men. The other one is the Dove Men. Now, the only reason I have two is honestly because there was a good coupon deal and I got really good rebates back on it. It's on Ibotta. If you want to join my team on Ibotta, I will link that down below. You get, what is it, $10. You get $10 when you redeem your first rebate and I get $5. So you help me, I help you. It's a really, really, really good program. Anywho, um, I like to use these just kind of like all over my body and down in the area because you know you don't want to be smelling while you're in the gym or when you get out of the gym because if you're anything like me, I have to go run all my errands and stuff right when I get out of the gym. So I go to the store right when I get out of the gym. If I have to go pay a bill, I do that right when I get out of the gym and I do not want to be smelling bad. So I keep two of these in my bag. Go along with the Sweet Sweat Wrap. I have the Sweet Sweat Workout Enhancing Balm. I'm actually about out of this. Like, I hardly have any left. Look at that. I'm gonna, like, be scraping it out of there because 
I need to order some more. I adore this stuff, especially for my midsection. I would put it on my legs before, but I feel like I'm like kind of slipping and sliding all over the machines and stuff. So I'll mainly just put it like um, on my arms, on my shoulders, on my chest, and on my midsection. Now I put this and I put on the wrap. You can use this by itself, but it kind of sticks on your clothes and it makes me feel uncomfortable when I don't put the wrap on on top if it's on my stomach. Um, I'll link this down below as well. Like I said before, I bought mine on Amazon. I bought this twice on Amazon. This is my second tube, but I did not see it on there whenever I looked yesterday. So I'll probably just purchase it off of the website. There's like a whole bunch of YouTubers and Instagrammers that have discount codes. Um, if I find some of them, I'll link them down below. I think it's like 15% off or something like that. So it saves you a buck or two. So I really, really, really recommend this again if you are going through postpartum, if you have stretch marks on your midsection, if you kind of have loose skin in your midsection from having children or losing weight at a very rapid rate, I really, really recommend this because it really does help. Next, I have good old lotion. I got this one for Christmas. I have a thousand and one lotions and body sprays sitting over there on my vanity with all my makeup and crap. This is uh, Bath & Body Works Frosted Snow Blossom. I got it for Christmas. I like to keep lotion in my bag because you know, black girl problems, I can't be looking ashy. I can't have my elbows or my knees or my ankles looking ashy. Don't wanna look like I'm trying to start a fire. So I just keep any lotion in my bag. Doesn't matter what brand, I just keep something in there. I have a little teeny tiny body spray. This is by Body Cologne, Cherish the Moment. I also got this for Christmas. It was in like in a little gift tin can thingy that I got. So uh, I keep body sprays in there. Just like I said, I have a ton of body sprays and stuff on my vanity because I'm a girl and I'm obsessed with smelling good and looking cute and stuff like that. So I just like to keep something in my bag again for whenever I leave the store or leave the store, leave to go to the store just so I don't smell like barbells and sweat and you know, gym. The only supplement that I carry with me in my gym bag are my BCAAs. Now, I will do a full supplements video here pretty soon if I haven't uploaded one. Did I upload a supplements video? I can't for the life of me remember. But if I didn't, I will upload one. I cannot remember off the top of my head. But these are the Extend BCAAs by Skyvation. These are my favorite BCAAs of life. Like my absolute favorite. They taste so freaking good. I, I've probably mentioned this before, I don't like blue raspberry anything, but these are super, super good. If you're looking for BCAAs, you need to try these. They, the taste is phenomenal. The price is really, really good. I'll link them down below as well. You can find these on Amazon, but you'll probably get a better deal if you find them in a nutrition store near you. I know that I just found these at the nutrition store that's right next door to my gym that I mentioned in my last video, and they were a lot cheaper. So I'll be buying some probably, probably tomorrow morning, because I'm gonna be lifting tomorrow morning because we running low. Something else I keep in here, you can do it on your phone, I'm kinda old school. I keep a little notepad in my bag just to write like different things down, like, well, this one's my one from work, but I had another one that's on my kitchen, uh, my kitchen table. I just write down like different numbers, like if I hit a new squat PR, or if I deadlift a certain amount, or I try to keep in mind how I feel with a certain amount of repetitions and a certain amount of weight, certain amount of sets, just things like that. I just like to keep that in mind. So whenever I'm kind of structuring my workout, I know what to do with what, what to superset with what, to burn how many calories, like things like that. I just like to write things down here and there. Or if I see somebody doing something that I've never done before, I'll write it down to keep in mind for next time so I can give it a try. It's just a little notepad. A jump rope. I don't spend a whole heck of a lot of time jump roping uh, before my workout because I like to do burnout cardio. It's just my personal preference. But it's good to get your blood flowing, get your muscles to wake up, get your limbs to wake up so you prevent injury. And I just like to feel a little bit of a sweat before I start just because it kind of gets me pumped up. But I got this probably from Academy or probably from Walmart. I'm not 100% sure. You can order on Amazon or wherever you want to get it. It's just a jump rope. Just a jump rope. It's a spare set of headphones. Now, these used to be the headphones that I used in the gym all the time, but 
they are actually getting kind of damaged if you can see from the little like earpiece right there it's kind of coming off and I'm really sad my dad got these for me whenever I moved to Missouri because I didn't have anything to do I mentioned this in my very first video my fitness journey video I had like nothing to do whenever I moved to Missouri to go to private school I had nothing to do but work out and do homework that's all I had to do so he bought me some headphones because I was whining about the ones that I had that they were crap and he got me these this was like almost three years ago yeah just about three years ago so I've had these for a long time I still use them outside of the gym I use them whenever I'm listening to audiobooks I keep them in my bag just in case I also have a pair of skull candies right here these are oldies but goodies they're like $14 from Walmart and if you want a good, a good pair of headphones that have good acoustics in them, they're loud, they block out sound whenever you have the music on, Skull Candies are really, really good. They don't last as long. I notice after, a few, maybe like after six months, one of them will start to give out, but they're only $14. $14 versus, I think these were like $200 whenever they were new. These were like $200 and my Jaybirds were like $150, $160, somewhere around there. I'll link all of it down below, but I love Bose headphones. The acoustics on them are amazing. They're noise canceling. They're comfortable. They're stylish. I love Bose headphones. Uh, so I keep these in my gym bag just in case I forget my Jaybirds or they die or something like that. Because don't nobody want to be in the gym with no headphones on. Don't nobody want to be in the gym with no headphones on. Last thing that I want to mention that's not technically in my gym bag but it will be in my gym bag because I just ordered some there's a couple of other things that I just ordered but I needed to film something and this is what I wanted to do today because I have to go to work in like an hour and a half so I needed to film something anyways my foam roller this is my foam roller it's really really big him and I or her and I because she's kind of pink we have a love-hate relationship because she helps me but she hurts me too so if you've ever foam rolled before you know why I say it's a love-hate relationship because it's really really good for your muscle it's really good to break up those muscle fibers uh, so you can build more muscle and prevent injury and help with soreness but it hurts like a mother especially the one that's coming in the mail it has grooves in it and it's gonna get way down up in there, up in the muscle tissues, and it's gonna hurt, but it's really gonna help. Um, so that's something else that I'm gonna keep in my gym bag. I also have some booty bands that I'm going to order. Uh, and I have, no, I didn't order ankle straps because I actually have some that are on my door gym that I'll take with me to the gym every once in a while. But I wanted to mention this because if you do not have a foam roller at your gym, uh, it's really good to take one with you so you can foam roll before your workout, especially your leg workouts, especially uh, the days that you do back. It can really, really hurt and you have a chance of getting injured if you keep your lower back or any of your back muscles to be extremely, extremely tight. You are at risk of injury like that. Uh, so it's really good to foam roll. It's really good to invest in maybe getting a massage. I have a deep tissue massage scheduled for next week because I'm noticing that my lower back, even though I foam roll, it still feels really, really tight. So uh, I'm gonna get a deep tissue massage to kind of loosen everything up, but that is all that's in my gym bag <laughs> for now. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you're a guy watching this, it's probably not the most exciting thing ever, but I needed to film something. I'm sorry I don't upload more than once a week now but I did start school last week so I have school going on uh, my husband starts school next week I work on the weekends I work from home during the week and just there's a lot of stuff going on but hey I like doing this I like creating videos it's a lot of fun uh, and yeah pretty sure you guys are understanding right yeah yeah okay Okay. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see next. And if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram. I will leave the link right here. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.